When you think of All-Stars, you think of skilled positions and big playmakers. Sometimes offensive linemen can be overlooked. Here at the 2010 Shrine Bowl, one offensive guard for Team West will steal our spotlight. As a junior, Ben Huggerberg was a key player for the Watford City Wolves. In that 2008 campaign, the Wolves held the top trophy in two-way football as state champions. I think it's one of the best feelings I've ever had. Uh, you know, all the hard work and dedication paid off. Um, spent a lot of hours, you know, working with the guys and uh, had a lot of, you know, team camaraderie. And winning the state championship was just kind of icing on the cake. Coming into his senior season with second team All-State honors, Huggerberg was a team captain for a very hungry Wolves team that looked for a repeat. To his dismay, the Velva Aggies ended those hopes in the state semifinals. They came in and played a better ball game than we did. And uh, it hurt because, you know, I wanted to win another championship. But uh, I learned a lot from the loss. And maybe in the long run, that's how it's supposed to be. Here at the 2010 Shrine Bowl, Huggerberg picked up right where he left off. With hard work and a team first attitude, he was selected as a team captain. He's just showing so much leadership and hustle and encouragement for the other guys and effort that those things uh, should be rewarded and they are rewarded and I can see why uh, Coach Fridley put him on, up for this and why he's, he's a Shrine All-Star this year. Huggerberg looks for one more victory as he approaches college football, but this team leader also knows the impact of this game and what it means to Shriners Hospitals. This whole game really isn't about, you know, us football players or whatever. It's about, you know, the kids down in that hospital. And uh, I was told before I came here, strong legs can run so weak legs can walk. And that's kind of what I've been thinking throughout the whole week. Huggerberg and the rest of the 11-man West All-Stars will look to tackle Team East today at the 2010 Shrine Bowl. From here, he'll move on to play football for Valley City State University. But for now, today, it's all business with a touch of fun, all for a great charity. From the Fargo Dome, I'm Nick Holberg, Beck Sports Network.